This is non-calculator question number 10 from the May 2019 U.S. exam. College Board gives us a description of a linear equation that passes through the point 3, 4, and for every increase of 5 in x, f of x increases by 3. So in addition to the point 3, 4, we have the point increase x by 5, so that would be 8, increase y, f of x by 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. So our slope is the change in y, y2 minus y1 over the change in x, x2 minus x1. I prefer to actually write this out so that I don't flip it and put the x's on top by mistake, and so I don't inadvertently swap just the x or just the y. So my y2 is 7, x, y1 is 4, x2 is 8, x1 is 3, and my y's are on top, x's are on the bottom, and I haven't swapped the order. So the slope of my line is 7 minus 4 is 3 over 8 minus 3 is 5. And I notice that my choices all have different slopes. Choice C is the only one that has a slope 3 over 5, so that would be the correct answer. This choice comes from swapping the order of either the x's or the y's, but not both. If you swap both, you still get the correct answer. And these two choices come from flipping the fraction and putting the x's on top and the y's on the bottom, and in one case, also swapping the order of one pair of coordinates but not the other. I could check that the point 87 satisfies this, and I might as well, although on the actual SAT I wouldn't take that much time. 7 equals 3 fifths of 8 plus 11 over 5. 3 times 8 is 24 over 5 plus 11 over 5 is 35 over 5, which is 7. So the second point is on choice C. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.